We begin this lunch hour with the latest COVID update in terms of figures for the country. And we're joined by Dr. Kalumbi Shangula with the latest. A very good afternoon to you, doctor. Please go ahead. Good afternoon and good afternoon, fellow Namibians. Today, uh, we have received 1,196 results in the last 24 hours reporting cycle. And out of those, 130 have tested positive for COVID-19, which translate into 11% positivity ratio. There are 80 females and 50 males. The age ranges from 2 years to 96 years. And the cases as follow. Wahangwena, 47. With Enhana having recorded 27 and Engela, 20. Comas, 19 from Vinhook. Karas, 17. With Luderis having recorded 8. Ketmans Hope, 5. And Karasberg, 4. Omsati, 15. All from Hutapi. Oshikoto, 8. With Sumeb having recorded 5. And Omthia, 3. Oshana, 6. From Oshakati. Chodonjupa, 6. With Huon, Fontaine, and Okahanja having recorded 2 each. And Ochiwarongo and Okakara having recorded 1 each. Erongo, 5. 3 from Swakopmund and 2 from Wolf's Bay. Hard up 3, all from Marienta. Kunene, 3, with Opu having recorded 2 and Ocho, 1. Omaheke, 1, from Hobabis. We are reporting cases from the 11 regions. Ohangwena region reported the highest number of cases, which account for 36% of all the confirmed cases, followed by Commerce region with 15. Sorry, with, seven, with, with 19. Okay. Among the confirmed cases, there are 34 learners, 4 teachers, 5 students, and 6 health care workers. Of all the confirmed cases, 7, which represent 5%, have received one dose of COVID-19, and of which 2 have, have, have received 2 doses. We have, re we have recorded 2,074 new recoveries. Comas having 1,894, Ohangwena 78, Oshikoto 58, Ochodangupa 17, Karas 14, Oshana 10, and Kavango East 3. We now have the number of active cases totaling 5,770. Out of those, 272 are hospitalized, with 53 having been admitted to intensive care unit. There is follow. Comas admission, 76, with 27 in ICU. Oshana, 39, with 8 in ICU. Kunene 32, Erongo 23 with 12 in ICU, Hangwena 18 with 1 in ICU, Omsati 17, Chobanjupa 17, Karas 16, Oshkoto 14 with 4 in ICU, and also in Karas we have 1 in ICU. Kavango is 7, Omaheke 6, Zambezi 5, and Kavango West 2. Sadly, we announce 9 deaths from 6 districts, with Okahao having recorded 4 deaths, Oshikuku, Sandi, Otapi, Oshakati, and Tsumib, 1 death each. The Okahau district the, uh, reported the highest number of four deaths. Of the reported deaths, 
one death from Makahau district and one from Southern district were reported as home deaths. And one death from Makahau district was declared dead on arrival at the health facility. None of the cases who demised have been vaccinated. Five of the reported deaths occurred between the 17th and the 23rd of July. Two occurred between 6th and the 8th of August, and two occurred on the 12th of August. That is within the 24 hours of the reporting cycle. By the 13th of August 2021, a total of 183,792 people have been have received one dose of COVID-19 vaccine, while 75,483 have received two doses. Uh, in terms of summary, a total of cumulative number of cases thus far since the beginning of the pandemic. 122,227 with 113,175 having been recovered, representing a 93 recovery rate. The total COVID death 2,992 with COVID-related death totaling 279, giving us a total deaths due to COVID-19 as 3,271. We have so far tested 634,784 samples. Currently, we have 1,660 1, individuals still in quarantine facilities. In conclusion, the new regulations will come into force midnight today. As we welcome the relaxed public health regulations, we must be mindful of the fact that COVID-19 has not relaxed. As we observe the progressive improvement in COVID-19 situation, this should not give us a sense of security and drop our guard to fight this invisible enemy. We should exercise more self-restraint and adopt the behavior that keeps us safe from COVID-19. Let us not plant the seeds for another wave. Thank you very much. Many thanks for that update, uh, 